Hi, it's Graham back with my Canadian adventures, and welcome to part two of my Fern Resort review. So let's talk about some of the major differences there are between Fern Resort in the summer and in the winter. In the summer, there seem to be a lot more activities to choose from, but I guess that's just the nature of the weather. In the winter, they do have things like snowshoeing, cross-country skiing. We actually went snowshoeing this morning, my son and I. Uh, right now, it's a bit tough because this winter has been a lot warmer than usual. Like right now, I'm walking on their one and a half kilometer skating path, and it's, it's down to the gravel. I don't know. I think if I had my choice, I'd come back in the summer. There just seemed to be a lot more activity, a lot more bang for your buck, I guess. The food, again, it's awesome. You're, you're always walking around full, that's for sure. Now, if we're talking about the all-inclusive policy, it's definitely different than, um, say, if you went down south. The all-inclusive policy more is in regards to your meals. You have three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, they more than fill you up. But as far as uh, snacks between meals or alcohol, uh, they are not included. For the price of the resort itself and the stay when you come here, the first time I was here, I actually expected the liquor to be included. Last night they had a live performer come in, play his guitar. They had a chocolate fountain with uh, fruit, marshmallows, stuff like that, that the kids and adults could dip in. That was after a big dinner as well. Our room is really nice. And tonight, I'm really looking forward to it, we're going to have a fire in the room. It's not like a faux fireplace or a gas fireplace, it's a real fireplace. So, uh, I can't wait to check that out. But it just, there's a, a noticeable difference between the experience in the summer and in, in the winter. In the summer, you really felt like you, okay, this event to that event to that event to that event. And in the winter, it seems, you have more free time, I guess. I know when I first looked at coming here, I looked at the price online, and it's kind of a toss-up whether you decide to go south or stay here. Um, the the time of year that we came this winter, they did have a 20% discount. So if you do want to come here, that's something to look for definitely. Feel good. We're back home from Fern Resort. We just spent Friday night, Saturday night there, got home on Sunday. And we'd like to do a recap and our final thoughts on what we thought of our visit to Fern Resort in the winter. Understandably, most resorts have uh, like motorsports or, yeah, motorsports? Motorized. Motorized vehicles. You motorized have to sports. rent a motorized sports. Um, but here it was a bit different. So when we went through the activity list, we noticed that um, a lot of things that were listed on the website as an activity were extra. So stuff like the wagon rides. Dog sledding. Jewelry making. Tea leaf reading. Tea leaf reading. All that was extra charge, um, which seemed a bit surprising to us. The staff was very accommodating whenever we um, requested anything. Uh, they were very friendly, um, happy to help. Yep. Just, I just keep going back for the, the price that you pay. The what's included and what's not included is is what got me. 